how to store pastel drawings and paintings. Okay, so if you've just discovered pastels and you've been working away for a couple of weeks, you've probably got lots of drawings there and you don't know how to store them. Um, people complicate this a lot and it doesn't need to be complicated. So as usual, I've simplified it all down and I'll take you through step by step what I do. So what I've got here, that's my drawing on pastel mat. I just put that to the side. I've got one of these display books and it's acid free and it's full of these little leaflets or uh, leaves of, as I say, acid free plastic inside. So you can get them in all different sizes. This is a smaller one. Now this is just mount board, acid free again, can be any color, pick it up as cheap as you can. That's just giving me a rigid surface. Then I've got my pastel mat, which is rigid anyway, so I don't really need the mount. But when they get bigger, then they could actually uh, start warping a little bit. And all I'm going to do is just use some uh, masking tape. And I'm going to put that just on the corners. Now, I'm not worried about the masking tape being acid free, because I almost always have quite an excess amount of um, paper to the sides. And I'll cut that off whenever I sell the painting or whenever I frame it. So it's never going to be actually touching anything that's going to stay. So I'm just sticking that to that mount board. That's giving me a rigid surface. It's not going to bend at all. It's not going to warp. It's going to keep that pastel mat nice and flat. And I'm just folding those edges around the side. Now this is called glassine paper and it's very similar to like a tracing paper, but it's once again acid free. Now I'm going to put my drawing face down on there. And all I'm going to do then is use our masking tape again to bend the edges up and make a pocket. So my drawing is now in an acid free pocket. Now, the reason we want it acid free is because acid can migrate into the paper and that will then increase the aging and decaying process. So we don't really want that to happen, of course. Now I've seen glassine paper done by a few different companies, so just make sure yours is acid free and it's quite cheap as well. You can buy it in, you know, it's more economical if you buy it in 50s or 100 sheets. It doesn't take up much room at all. So all I'm doing is just creating that very simple pocket. Now obviously another way to store it, if you've only done a few pastels, is to actually get them framed. And people are wondering about how to do that with pastels as well. Well, pastel mat holes the pastel into it so you don't really need to seal it so you don't have to worry about that what i'd like to do the mount board you just saw there that's black when you frame you generally with pastels you use two mount boards and the picture framers will cut the aperture out that is the right size for your pastel drawing so it's a double mount it's called and that keeps the pastel away from the surface of the glass of the frame because you should have it uh, framed with glass so you can see there, that's in his nice acid free pocket. And all I'm going to do now is just open up this uh, little portfolio and just pop it inside. Now this, this one just cost me about, I think it was about $2.99. So they are quite cheap. And you can see I could put two in there, put them back to back and it's nice and safe. So I could easily get about a, how many sheets at 20, so I can easily get 50 small drawings in there. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, it could have been done at the larger size as well. They come in like A1, A2, A3, A4 sizes. So it's really simple to do, really, really economical as well. And I hope that's um, sorted out your problems of how to store your pastel drawings. On my tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk, I've got lots of full length videos, some up to eight or nine hours long. I've got ebooks on there as well. If you're looking for reference photos, because sometimes it's really hard to get very good, decent, copyright free reference photos you can paint and draw from. My website, www.wildlifeart-online.com has got about 900 or more photographs on there. Or perhaps you'd like to join my art community where every month I put up new videos, new reference photos, new wildlife line art. So that's patreon.com forward slash wildlife art. Love to see you on one of those soon or even here on my YouTube channel.